So you guys, what is this event about? For us, it's about who we are as the church. Mm -hmm. And um, as a culture, that shifts with time. And there's always kind of a recalibrating that happens by the Holy Spirit. And so for me and for our, our church family, I'm anticipating that it's a recalibration of what it means to be missional, to join Jesus in what he's already doing. Yeah. And to be open to an out of the box um, or out of our right here and now boxes of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't step into that without different thinking. And so I feel like what Hugh carries is he challenges you. Um, he asks really great questions that make you wonder why you're doing what you're doing. Not that it's bad, but that there's an invitation um, to participate in a new way with mm -hmm. the Lord to reach our community. So for that, that's what I'm anticipating. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think it's a, it's not program driven, it's individual. Like what does it look like for me to be a part of the body of Christ in my community? And um, so I'm just anticipating that for everyone that participates, people are gonna walk out of there with mm -hmm. like a different vision. Okay, this is what God's asking me to do. And some of it, people might come together and, and go out together, but I think a lot of it will be individual for us, what it look like in our neighborhood, in our workplace, mm -hmm. in our family. I think sometimes you have to have a conversation a lot of times yes. in order for the paradigm shift to happen. And so I think as the three of us, as individuals have been having the conversation individually and then sometimes together, but we're really wanting to see the whole church community in Albany come in and just have our, our mindset sh shifted, our paradigm shift of what it means to be the church in Albany. And um, you and I were talking one day, I don't remember what day, but we were talking about, you know, just we get our, um, the church will have our mission and we'll wrap our, our theology and our doctrine around kind of our mission and then we'll frame who Jesus is around that. And that's so backwards and so wrong and but it's just kind of culturally been what has been happening within western church culture and so we really really want to put it back to who is jesus what is his mission and how do we get to be a part of that we thought the mission of god is going out and reaching people outside of the, the church and bringing them to the into church. church right and it's that might work for some, but it doesn't work for many in our own personal neighborhood. There are many who wouldn't go to a church mm -hmm. building, a church program, a church activity. And we were challenged by guys like Hugh Halter to say, yeah. what if we stopped asking people to come to church? And what if we went to be the church, be the church. with our neighbors and in the community? So it's very much about activating people to say, God has put you in your neighborhood or your workplace or your school for a reason because you need to be activated to see where God's already at work mm -hmm. there and how you get to join him in his mission not to just bring people mm -hmm. to a church building mm -hmm. to, to be, be part go of our be mission. sent yes. yeah to go be sent just like Jesus was sent to us we get to be go sent to our communities mm -hmm. and how like you said how that's going to look is going to be different for each person because each person is being sent to a different place and the different yeah. people and we need to learn to be inspired to go, mm -hmm. and then also learn how to go as well. Mm -hmm.